Hello guys, welcome to LabTex. I am Nasser again with you a new case study of Apple MacBook Pro A1278 which part number is 820-2936 and uh, problem in this motherboard uh, that uh, no touchpad is working however I cannot show you but if you see the my external display I am just testing it with the th Thunderbolt but uh, I am trying to move the tracks but uh, the cursor is not moving. So how do you repair this types of problem? Uh, earlier I have uploaded a video of uh, touchpad not working but that was the air and uh, the architecture is slightly different. In MacBook Pro what happens that uh, the booster regulator is used in order to run the touchpad so this is the booster IC this is the booster IC which is needed to work to run the touchpad and this is the IC which is looking after the touchpad commands so here watching this problem I will describe I will little bit describe the schematic then how you can rectify this types of problem so here the pin point I am checking on this particular register where the booster regulator uh, enable voltage is coming on this point and uh, now you can see there is the 3 point 3 volt is available on this particular pin and uh, on the output output is the this short key diode and here you can see that what voltage I am getting here here I must get 18 volt as it is written on on the schematic as I will show you so instead of uh, 18 volt I am merely getting 5 volt on this point that is why my touchpad is not working here so I think uh, my booster regulator is faulty or some auxiliary component which is just going through uh, the booster voltage is going across uh, that auxiliary component could be faulty in that point so I think uh, first of all I since I am getting since I am getting here the enable voltage and uh, I must get the output 18 voltage on this point so here there might be uh, booster regulator is faulty here you need to know that how boost regulator works you can go through my video that uh, I have made it uh, for the backlight issue and that is the LP8550 and there I have uh, described how the boost regulator chopper works and uh, very clearly I have uh, uh, I have described that uh, what is the what are those functions which is required to initialize the boost regulator so you can have a look on that uh, video also so here I am just going to change this boost regulator because uh, that is perhaps there is a, some technical jordans with this let's come and replace the IC and uh, I have the same scrap motherboard here and uh, I will do one thing I will just take it out from here and I will place it back you only have to see here that uh, if you get 18 volt on the short key diode your board will be okay uh, for that you need only a touch pad whether it is working or not or it is hanging so all these touch pads I have here let me show you these are the for the testing 
these are for the testing these all uh, this is not the good one this is the uh, hanging problem but i use only for the testing when the touch pad is not working i need to apply some paste So this is my scrap motherboard. I just place it. I need to write cross. But for the name and number, somebody asked me that uh, what number I see is there if it is burned. So I just read it here. Or even you can read on the diagram. But uh, here is the some codes are written here. I think it is. You will not find on the schematic. Uh, CV something is written on this point. So. put it back i have replaced the chip let me clean it i have replaced it let me make it clean now very good now let's come and check i am going to fix all these things and again i'll show you that what voltage i am getting on this point so I have changed the IC, this IC from this scrap motherboard. I have used here, but uh, I'll I need to write here. I need to write here that the bad bad one. I just put here back only to see the ref for the my reference that uh, sometime I need to make a case study. So well. I haven't checked as of now however the display is uh, slightly low because I don't have the keyboard here to uh, light up but I'll show you very closely but as of now I haven't checked uh, that uh, whether it is working or not but I, I can uh, I'm very damn sure that uh, by testing this voltage you can see on this terminal as you were getting only 5 volt no pulse was there as you have seen earlier now you can see the pulse and uh, this is the 5 volt with pulse earlier the pulse was not coming that's why you are not getting the boost up voltage on the other side of this diode here on the other side of the diode you have got 18 volt if you are able to see here then okay otherwise let me show you on the multimeter on the first side of the Schottky diode where the boost up voltage is uh, getting enter and uh, on the other side after the switching here you can see the 18 volt if you have got 18 volt on this uh, this uh, short key diode that means that your touchpad is working the touchpad is started working now you can see on the screen it is working now but friends you have to remember here that if you are using touchpad then you are gonna get this voltage on this particular point if you are not using the load because you know these voltage initialize or it comes uh, when the load comes so here the load is the touchpad and then you are going to get this voltage on this point if i remove the touchpad right now here so you will not get voltage on this point i i saw on my youtube that somebody was asking that sir make a video of a macbook pro if uh, i do not get display on the screen but the display comes on the external through thunderbolt but uh, here is my question that uh, do you check this voltage that uh, 
uh, on this two capacitor of the LP8550. If you are getting 12 volt, then that means that is the dim display. But if you are not getting any voltage on this particular pin, that means that your panel is not getting detected. The panel is not getting detected uh, by your motherboard. So kindly check that point that uh, the LCD connector or uh, the LVDS connector, these connectors you need to check on that point. You will not get even the blink on the screen. There is no fluctuation, nothing you will get on the screen if your LCD test voltage is not generated. If your LCD test voltage is not generated, then you will not get any flickering, any fluctuation on the screen. But my friends, you will definitely get the display on the external monitor. So this is the point here. So that is why I am trying to make you understand that uh, you need to use the touchpad in order to check the voltage. If you are not using touchpad and you are expecting a voltage on this particular pin, you will not get even a single volt. So I think uh, you have enjoyed this video and uh, please like and subscribe my video for the more updates.